was a divine revelation issued forth from the diary of Sister Faustina during the years of 1934 and 1938, which was written in her last four years of life on earth. Sister Faustina lived from 1905 to 1938. Saint Faustina, secretary and saint of the Divine Mercy, had written these words. I bear a special love for Poland and if she is obedient to my will, I will exalt her in might and holiness. From her will come forth a spark that will prepare the whole world for my final coming. This spark is Our Lady's Pope, but at that time, Charles Joseph Walterra was born in Wodicic, Poland in 1920. His acceleration to holiness after persevering with reading St. Louis Grian de Montfort's book, True Devotion to Mary. His words, at one point I began to question my devotion to Mary, believing that if it became too great, it might end up compromising supremacy of the worship owed to Christ. At that time, I was greatly helped by the book by St. Louis Marie Gruyen de Montford, True Devotion to Mary. There I found the answer to my questions. Yes, Mary does bring us closer to Christ. She does lead us to him, provided that we live her mystery in Christ. At that time, I was greatly helped by a book by St. Louis Green de Montford, True Devotion to Mary. In his encyclical Redemptoris Mater, again St. John Paul II refers to St. Louis Green de Montford, his proposal to consecration to Jesus through the hands of Mary as an effective means for Christians to live faithfully their baptismal commitment. And from the words of St. Louis came the slogan and emblem of his pontificate, I am all yours and all that I have is yours, O most loving Jesus, through Mary, your most holy mother. As a sign of the times, Pope John Paul II's pontificate generated an explosion of perpetual Eucharistic adoration chapels unprecedented in the history of the church. His words, our essential commitment in life is to preserve and advance constantly in Eucharistic life. His sayings on perpetual Eucharistic adoration are enormous. The adoration chapels, he says, are needed for every parish to establish this directive today, to renew the enthusiasm, to collect more and more adorers for Eucharistic adoration for our Eucharistic Lord. From the generation of increased numbers of adorers, the words of his encyclical Dominique Chane are to lead us to a magnificent Eucharistic era. His words as vicar of Christ, the church and the world have a great need of Eucharistic worship. Jesus wants us in this sacrament of love. Let us be generous with our time in going to meet him in adoration and contemplation that is full of faith and ready to make reparation for the great faults and crimes of the world by our unceasing adoration. In the words of St. John Paul, at his inauguration of his pontificate on October the 22nd, 1978, 41 years ago, words that will encourage us all. 
Brothers and sisters, do not be afraid to welcome Christ and accept his power. Help the Pope and those who wish to serve Christ and with Christ's power to serve the human person and the whole of mankind. Let us give honour to Our Lady by acknowledging that this Pope was her Pope. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>